Hi everyone, I'm Hannah Bronfman and welcome to In The Know Baby Banter, where we'll be talking with newbie moms and experts about all the life-changing topics that come with motherhood. From pregnancy and postpartum wellness to balancing being a full-time mom and having a career. There's so much to talk about, so let's dive right in. We have Cy De Silva here, otherwise known as Scout in the City, who is just like my ultimate girl crush. Um, so, okay, Cy, you are mom to London and Rio, and London is nine, right? And Rio's four? Yep. Okay, so you have like such a bossy Instagram. I feel like you are working 24 seven. I really want to understand how you have been able, like how you have the balance between work life and mom life. Um, good question. I, I feel like I'm just kind of like at that, at that stage where there really, there really is zero balance whatsoever. I mean, especially after, well now, you know, we're still in a pandemic and kids going to school from home. I'm working from home. My husband's working from home. I feel like everything all of a sudden just kind of intertwined and we're just like one big melting pot. Everyone's trying to figure it out. I wish that I, yeah. I could say I had some crazy secret of balance, but really at the end of the day, I'm just like winging it like the rest of everyone else. I'm just trying to glaze it over and make it look real good. But for the most part, I do have a hard stop around 536 when it's time for me to cook. And then that is a time typically where we're all winding down from the day and I just spend time with my family. So I just try and find balance, I guess, where I, where I can. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. And I like that you have like a end of the day because I think it like having a little bit of structure is so important and like a little bit of a routine. Right. Um, so, okay, you are an amazing content creator. First Thank of all, you. your reels are insane. I don't understand your editing magic. I like have, I'm just like blown away. I'm like, okay. This is some sorcery, like you know. Like in the dark ages over here. <laughs> Um, but you also have your kids and a lot of your content, which I am personally so grateful for, but I'm wondering how you kind of decided, um, to kind of, to, to bring them into the fold and like what that kind of process, your thought process around it was. Well, when I first had London, um, she actually started modeling before I started blogging. So that was oh, wow. kind of where we, she was a kid model for quite some time, a few years. And I think her getting that experience made her, she was just kind of very open to taking photos and she was just really into, she's really, really creative. Um, I think she got that from me. Um, she's very creative and just very like, she's into giving ideas. Um, she loves creative direction. She loves planning things. So from a very early age, she was very vocal about that, especially on set as a child model, she would kind of give you ideas at two years old, which was kind of mind blowing to me. And, um, wow. I think when I started the blog, it was just more, you know, I was a new parent. This Instagram thing wasn't a large situation. It was very small. It just started. And um, I kind of did it just to meet other parents. I was like, where are the cool moms? Like, are there any? And I got on Instagram and I started doing like, you know, the whole pictures of the o OOTDs of my kid. And then um, I realized she really liked it. The thing about children is they don't lie. One, they will tell your business right. in a second and they don't lie. So if a child is not happy, you can see it all over the film, all over the videos. There is no hiding that situation. So I think once I realized that she really liked it, I was like, okay, cool. This is something that we can kind of do together. And um, yeah, yeah, just kind of like watch it and maintain it. Make sure that there's no, you know, we got to watch out for little creepers and stuff like that. Those are things that we definitely, you know, look for. But for the most part, it grew and it's something that she just loves to do. So I have two follow-up questions to that. Do you think that this has been two? Okay, so one, do you think that this has been like an amazing bonding experience for the two of you? Because like, you, I mean, it seems like you guys are just best friends and that you love doing this stuff together, which is so sweet. And then on the flip side, like how do you create boundaries as well um, to make sure that like you're fully comfortable with like what's being put out there and what's not being put out there. Yeah. One thing for sure is I don't ever want to do anything that my daughter will be embarrassed about when she gets older 
because okay. we're living in the age that. of the internet where your friends are going to Google you. And I have to be honest, some of her friends have Googled and know that I'm on YouTube and find it to be like the biggest deal at school. And I try to keep it on the low because I just don't want the teachers to know that I am an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> it feels feels weird. I just don't want them knowing what we're doing on vacation and stuff. So I try totally. to like, you know, hush it down. London never talks about it at school. I think this is her norm that she does this. Um, and so we always just kind of like keep it a secret and, and we don't brag about it. Or it's just, again, she thinks like, hey, this is me and mommy's job. Um, as far as us being super close, we are very, very close. But she's gotten to that age where she wants to do her own thing now. So it's kind of like, yeah, that was cute that we do mommy and me. But the thing is, I kind of want to branch off and, you know, take my own channel now. So I, you know, I'm kind of, OMG. I know I'm balancing that. So I've taught her how to make a content calendar and, you know, really commit to Saturdays she films. And now she's trying to learn how to edit and those things. But I like that we have that time together because it really teaches her how to be an entrepreneur and you know what direction she goes in and you know what's her work ethic gonna be. I'm a big mom of work ethic. Everyone works. Yeah. Like we all work, we all have to do our job here. So um I think, yeah, just spending this time together has has definitely brought us closer, but she's also learned so much from it. Incredible. I, I can't so is she like a full like preteen? She's a preteen. She's yeah, she's definitely a preteen. She's like constantly, not constantly, but she's allowed to be on the phone from six to seven week weekdays. And she's like on the phone doing um, video games with her friends on Zoom. And I'm like, I can't, I can't deal with this. First of all, what are Ridiculous. you playing? So I don't, cute. I don't even know what they're playing. It's like this video game called Roblox. Most of the moms know oh, it if, yeah. if your child is a little bit older. And I'm like, what is it? I'm so confused. I just don't know what it is. I have a 12 year old nephew, so I know all about okay. the blocks. Like, it's the whole thing. It's, it's um, confusing. Okay, wait. I also want to ask you about the boundaries. So, like, for instance, you mentioned that, like, you guys like to keep things on the down low. You don't want the teachers knowing, like, that, like, what's going on. So, like, how do you guys just, like, talk about, like, you know, what you like kind of what the story is and like also when you're doing your content like how do you decide like things that like you will share versus things that you won't share i think we just automatically know going in things that we won't share i mean also my husband is very involved behind the scenes as far as like laying down those boundaries and our rules of what we share and what we don't share he's really big into like not bragging personal space like this is our personal life we don't discuss those certain things so i think knowing going in she's very like she just knows she's very aware again she's this is something yeah. she's been doing since she was two so she totally it's almost as if she has this like sasha fierce personality like she turns into someone completely different when the camera is on all of a sudden she goes to like you know london she's quirky she's funny and then she's like hi Welcome back, people. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. <laughs> the sass is so real. Turns into a completely different person. I'm like, okay, cool, great. I have two, I have two daughters, by the way. <laughs> oh my so, god! Yeah, insane. I think it just. I don't know. We've, I guess, setting the tone super early, and then going from there. Um, okay, so there's six years between you, between London and Rio. Yep. Was that planned? Did you always want that age gap? Like Rio's like a full, like he's also like his energy is just on another level. Like I'm <laughs> slightly obsessed with him. Um, so I just wanted to know, like, did you guys like, like what was your family planning process kind of like? Um, well, I thought I was one and done to be very honest. Uh, when I, okay. yeah, when I had London, you know, I had her a little bit earlier, a lot earlier. Um, and you know, I thought to myself, you know what, this is cool. She's perfect to me. You know, we have a cute family. I'm kind of one and done. Um, and then maybe when she was four and a half, she started asking for a sibling and I was like, eh, you're out of diapers. We're kind of like not doing the stroller thing. We're really good right now. Like we travel together by ourselves. It's totally fine. Yeah. And then, you know, I spoke to my husband about it and he's like, I 
don't know. And to be honest, I wanted two girls. I wanted two girls that were going to go to college together and share jeans and like braid each other's hair. Like that was my vision. I was like, it's going to be great. They're going to fight over clothes. It's going to be amazing. And then um, I was like, all right, let's give it a shot. And we tried and, uh, you know, it happened fairly quickly, like to the point that I wasn't even ready. I was like, wait a minute. I was just kidding. (laughs) No, I'm not ready yet. But it happened. And then I found out I was having a boy and kind of like, I didn't know what to do, to be honest. I just literally was like, oh, my God, they pee all over the seat. Like, I don't know what to do about this situation. Like, is he going to play hockey? Like, what? Like, what? I just didn't know. What, I was kind of like freaking out. Oh, my God. You, of course, the, the, the Canadian father, you had to mention the, the hockey moment. Right, right. Because he's like just – it's Canadian sports all day. We have to ski. We have to ice skate. We have to play hockey around here. So, you know, um, anyway, we ended up having a boy and they are, they're actually five and a half years apart. I'm sorry. And they happen to be, I'm so happy I did it like this. They are so close. I've never, it just warms my heart. She, they'll take baths together and she'll wash him up and like, she just, she'll make sure that he eats or she'll make sure that he goes to bed. It's almost like having a live-in nanny. I was like, wow, this is great. She's, you could do everything but the laundry and cook. This is fantastic. And she's just like that over, you know, just a big sister who really takes care of him. So, you know, I'm glad that everything ended up working out the way it did. That's amazing. I love that. Um, and I love that, like, London kind of helped you change your opinion on, like, the whole fam and, like, the dynamic. Like, London was, like, pushing for her little sibling and she got her perfect little brother. And she did. Um, Okay. So you've obviously, like, you know, you've got a toddler or I guess Rio's not a toddler. He's a big boy. But, you know, London's basically a preteen. I feel like you're kind of out of, like, this, like, you know, baby, baby phase. So what kind of advice would you give to a newbie mom like me? I think for you, you're lucky because you have so many outlets with social media now. I just feel like when I had London, it wasn't as easy. So now you can kind of have that community, even if, for example, say you didn't have any friends. I didn't have any friends who were pregnant, basically. Now I just feel like you have, and you also have built such a great following, loyal followers that you have that community towards anything that you could ever possibly need, you would get advice on. But for the most part, you're living in that era where you take every photo, take every video because it goes by so quickly. I mean, you're going to wake up and, you know, next thing you know, he's going to be four. And it's kind of like, you're almost sad. Like, where did, where did the time go? But I just, I'm, my biggest word of advice is just don't take those moments for granted. Like, literally, if you can't take every video and every photo, do it. Spend all that time together and travel. Try, I know that we are finally kind of getting towards that way, but... I did find when I traveled with London very young, again, it set that tone where she was used to traveling that we didn't have any issues as she's gotten older. We didn't have the crying or, Mm -hmm. you know, when we first started as a baby, I had to walk up the aisles a few times. But after that, I think she just got so used to traveling that it wasn't a big deal and that we would go anywhere. And I knew a lot of women who are just so afraid of going anywhere by themselves with their child. So... I'm just like, it's okay. What's, you're going to be fine. Just go, just yeah. go out there, explore. You can do it without your your partner and it's going to be perfectly fine. And you still have those memories. You're creating those memories that your kids are never going to forget. You know, especially when you get, you know, you get older and you're kind of like, oh, remember when we went on that vacation with the family and we did this and we did like, those are memories you just never, you never forget. So I'm a big mom fan of creating those memories with your kids, no matter what. I love that. Biggest word of advice. I mean, I love, no, I love that so much. And I like it, honestly, like Preston's five months already. And I feel like it's going by so fast. I feel like you just had him. It's crazy. I was like, I remember. There's just like not enough hours in the day to like hang out with him. When you just had him, I was like, you know, you took like, you took a minute to announce it. And every second day, it was like, when's she going to post photos? When's she going to post photos? Because I think once you get to a certain age, too, when you have kids, you end up having that baby fever again. So then you're like kind yeah. of like looking to your friends to, to show you photos of their babies. And then I remember finally when you had your big, when Obama spilt the beans. Then I was like, oh, this is great. This is great. Now we can see Preston all the time. And he's absolutely adorable. He's just so, he's one of those babies that you just want to eat his face. 
So yeah, definitely <laughs> take so many photos because it does go quickly. And you know what? It really does. If Brendan can't go on a trip with you, it's fine. Don't ever be afraid yeah. to like take him and go on your own. It will be perfectly no, fine. No, I really, I really, I really love that. And I think like having the kind of bond, like that bonding, just, you know, one parent and like encouraging Brendan to also do that with him is like so nice. And yeah, um, yeah, it's, don't it's ever a whole journey. That. We're, yeah. And even if you were to have more, we don't know what's going to happen in the future, but more kids, that's another thing. Um, I say split the kids their time because I do that a lot on the weekends one on one. I'll do a donut run with Rio on Sunday mornings. And then on Saturdays after ballet, London and I will go get hot. Oh, you know what we love to do? Afternoon tea. Afternoon tea is starting oh to God, open up. So, cute. so afternoon tea is her jam. She loves to get all dressed up and prim and proper and like go for afternoon tea. And it's just it's just such a cute, memorable moment. So anyway, I honestly used to do that with my mom all the time and she would take me like to the plaza yeah. or like, do you know what I mean? And I loved to get dressed up and my mom like used to dress me up to like go on a plane. So we, I used to like go like be wearing dresses <laughs> on planes and things. I mean, I feel like that is like very of like the 80s and 90s. I don't think we're like doing that to our kids anymore. But like, you know, anyway, I love to dress up and have afternoon tea with my mom. So that's like super cute. It's memorable. I, I don't know if Preston's going to be into tea, but we'll You never we'll know. See. You never know. They'll be into that's whatever true. you give that's them, true. to be honest. They're just like want to spend time. But no, yeah, I'm yeah. all creating the memories all day, every day. Oh, I love that. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. This was so cute and um, informative. And I'm just really excited that um, our community will be able to listen to this and be inspired by your work ethic. And um, you too, Hannah, life. you also it. have a crazy work ethic. I think we should clap thank it up you. for you as well. It's no, this job is not for the week. Let's just say it is a very, a very tough job. <laughs> I agree with you 100%. But congrats um, on becoming okay. a mom and joining our mom community here if you ever need me. Oh, thank you, Sai. You are definitely a cool mom. So I will, like, we need to, like, make this relationship an IRL experience. So we will be doing that soon, I hope. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for tuning in and make sure you head to In The Know Parenting for more. I'm Hannah Bronfman and I'll see you on another episode of In The Know Baby Banter. Mm -hmm.